Give me a privilege to speak to you this day on Black History Month. <clears throat> as far as Black History Month, it's a time that we reflect on where we've been and where we're going, which leads me to a story. Uh, back when I was growing up, I grew up in a time when segregation was prevalent and one of those times where to go to the movies, you had to go through the back door. Uh, you couldn't drink out the same water fountain. And, and even when you travel, you couldn't stop everywhere because of the color of your skin. When segregation took it in and integration took place, I was a senior in high school. And I always remember that so vividly because I had the opportunity to go down to the white or the majority school to take electronics. So I left my comfort of my school, which was Butler High School, which was all black, and went down to Hearts for Hive, which was a majority of white school to take electronics. I always remember going down there and, and doing the work and trying to do the best that I could. Even though there was obstacles in the way, I still did the best I, that I could. But I always remember on our final project that the instructor wanted us to make a transistor radio. Many of you may not know what a transistor radio is, but it's a little radio that had transistors in it. And so in our final project, we had to make a transistor radio. I worked hard on that radio. I put the radio together and it worked. You know, back then, all you had was AM and my transistor radio worked. And I passed it in to the instructor. The instructor took the radio and it played. But in the end, I got an F. And the reason I got an F, he said that it was no way possible that I could have made that radio. He said that you couldn't have put that radio together and you probably got somebody else to do it because you wouldn't be capable of putting the radio together like that. And I always remember that. I fought it, of course, or my mother got involved and he said that he put the time in to make the radio. Finally, uh, the instructor gave me in and said, well, I give him a C, but I still doubt that he made the radio. And I brought this up to say that many times in black history, many times such as Martin Luther King, John Lewis, Rosa Parks, the four there in Walmart, all those individuals will meet obstacles in your lives. And we will meet those obstacles and people will tell us that we can't do it. People will say that we're not good enough. But my thing is, never let anybody dictate who you are. That if you know you can do something, no matter what the color of your skin, no matter where you're from, no matter what neighborhood you grew up in, always remember that if you feel that you're capable of doing it, do it. Even when I was coming to Clinton, North Carolina to set up a practice, the banker looked at me and said, you'll never make it. But you know, if I would have listened to him, I would have went somewhere else. I would have tried something else. But I ended up coming to Clinton and did very well. So during this Black History Month, I want you to do a reflection of yourself. Think about the things that you may have given up because somebody said you couldn't do it. Think about the things that you knew that in your heart that you was good enough to do but somebody said that you couldn't do it. If that was the case, as far as Black History Month, we still would have been where we are, where we were back in the 1960s. But always looking your heart to move forward. Always looking your heart to say that I can do it no matter what others tell me. Don't let nobody turn you around. Don't let nobody deceive you. Don't let nobody put barriers around you. I still do those practices today. I do not let individuals define who I am because I know who I am. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, even if somebody give you an F and you know you did it, stand up. Just don't accept what somebody else says. And as we continue to move forward in black history, it's a time of reflection, but it's a time that we look forward to know that the mantle has been passed from those in the 60s to the 70s to the 2000s to those here even at the college. Continue to do what you can do. Continue to move forward in your, your dreams. Continue to move forward in your ambitions. 
And again, don't let nobody define who you are. Happy Black History Month.